Oh well, man, time flies. Today is 10 years to the day since the miracle on the Hudson when Captain Sully Sullenberger safely landed a plane in the river that after hitting a flock of birds, saving 155 people on board. Today, Sully and some of those passengers got together in Charlotte where that plane is on display in a museum to celebrate that heroism. We were standing on the shoulders of everybody else who's done this. And there are hundreds of thousands of people who over four or five decades yeah. have made this system in which we operate so resilient, so robust that we were able to do these things. And so there are a lot of people out there who have that same dedication, who feel that same obligation that we felt to do whatever it takes to save every life. It's definitely strengthened my relationship with my family. Um, it's changed the way I've looked at life, I know. And when you look back on that day, it really is unbelievable that we aren't marking the 10th anniversary of a terrible tragedy. So many things had to go right for this to have a happy ending. Our Michael Wooten takes a look at just what happened. It was 324 in the afternoon, January 15th, 2009, when U.S. Airways Flight 1549 was cleared for takeoff. The plane left runway four at LaGuardia Airport, bound for Charlotte. Okay, this 15.9 departure to contact climb, maintain one 5,000. About two minutes into the flight, as the plane was approaching 3,000 feet, it struck a flock of Canada geese. Passengers heard a very loud bang and saw flames shooting from the engines. Captain Chesley Sullenberger took control, and First Officer Jeffrey Skiles worked to restart the engine. But roughly 20 seconds later, Sully radioed the first mayday call. Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539. Hit birds to lost thrust on both engines, returning back towards LaGuardia. What happened next is what captivated the world. Sully was told to return to LaGuardia. Flights were halted, runways cleared, but the veteran pilot was looking for other options, one being nearby Teterboro Airport. But then we heard this calm yet chilling one second radio call from Sullenberger. We can't do it. We're going to be in the Hudson. With no options left, Sullenberger began ditching the plane into the Hudson River, passing less than 900 feet above the George Washington Bridge. Sullenberger telling the 155 people on board to, quote, brace for impact. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News. Amazing. And I heard on the Today Show this morning some of the passengers talking about how they couldn't believe it when they landed and there really was no tragedy. They're thinking, did we just all die? Yeah, I remember <laughs> hearing that and think, well, yeah, I mean. And because, I mean, goodness. when do you ever think that, you know, something so tragic like ditching in a river is going to result in everybody walking away? Absolutely. They call it the miracle on the Hudson for a reason, right? That's right, yeah.